In our series, The New Normal, we look at how the pandemic is dramatically changing our everyday lives. The hard-hit restaurant industry expects to lose about $240 billion in sales this year. Thousands of restaurants have begun outdoor dining to keep their doors open, but they face new challenges as the weather turns colder. Vlad Duce looks at how some are getting creative to keep diners warm and safe. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Yes, winter is coming, and restaurant owners are working hard to make sure their outdoor dining areas are still available when that cold weather arrives. Some of their ideas include using propane-fueled heaters or even insulated domes to keep diners warm and their food hot. It's getting a little nippy. Yep. It's going to continue to get nippy. Mm -hmm. As temperatures start to drop, restaurant owner and chef Alex Reich is now faced with a new reality. When restaurants were able to reopen and business started to come back, but then you realize it was going to get cold, what were you thinking you would do? I'm always thinking about the worst. I feel like that's kind of my job, unfortunately. The worst may not be here yet, but Chef Alex is preparing to bring the heat at her Brooklyn restaurant, Lavara. Are you worried at all that people might not want to eat out here when it's cold? Definitely. As the industry reckons with the new normal, restaurants around the country are finding ways to provide warmth and comfort for diners while continuing to serve their dishes hot. It's pretty uncertain, as are all things right now. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to do. Already ailing businesses are spending thousands of dollars on outdoor heaters. Complimentary blankets for diners. It's going to just keep getting colder and colder, and what are we going to do about it? And outdoor greenhouses. The pandemic is forcing owners to think outside the box, or in some cases, outside the bubble. I can tell you that with everything going on in this world, um, eating in the bubble is about one of the best experiences you can have. <laughs> in Detroit, the East Eats restaurant is taking that experience to a whole new level by installing about a dozen insulated domes. We actually completely transform all of our domes into igloo domes. Then you're in like a greenhouse-like covering. So you can be in there in the rain, you can be in there in the snow. It is absolutely necessary to protect you protect other diners. In Chicago, Mayor Lori Lightfoot asked the public to submit ideas for a winter dining challenge. Among the winners, these cozy cabins and heated tables. We have four of these. Here in Brooklyn, while indoor dining resumes at 25% capacity, Chef Alex is going all in on outdoors. Right now, the best prospects are outdoor dining. It's where most people feel the most comfortable, and I think people are willing to bundle up and tough it out. Chef Alex is still waiting from the city for approval to use those propane-fueled heaters. One other important note is that while those insulated domes we saw can protect diners from the cold, they are not proven to protect you from the coronavirus. They do encourage customers to socially distance from one another, and it is important to still wear your mask when you are not eating. Yeah. Hmm. Well, no, that's what I want to know. You want to go to the restaurant. You've been there. You guys have both been to dinner in the I've city. been inside yeah. a restaurant, and I've, and I've eaten outside as well. And, and, I, and I, I frankly, I've been nervous both, play, both ways. Yeah. I mean, but the, those domes are so elaborate, particularly the ones in Chicago. It, yeah. it feels like you might as well be in, inside, that's, right? That's my view. I mean, because I look at them, and I think part of the reason I want to eat outside is so that there's air circulation. Yeah. I don't, when I look at those, I look, well, how do you get air circulation? Yeah. yeah I'll take the FDR blanket, and that's going to be my But blanket. you've been to that restaurant. I have, with like? a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vlad, we'll be right back. Was the food good? Yeah, it was terrific. <laughs>